Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Tristan Comer of Freeland Football. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? Doing good. So uh, obviously this uh, this past weekend, um, not what you wanted, but uh, overall it was still another great season for Freeland. Yeah. So just uh, just kind of recap the year. Um, I mean, we started off strong. We came in playing Saginaw United. We didn't really know uh, how they would fare. I mean, first-year team. Uh, we believed we could beat them, so we went out, uh, did what we did, got us on a roll. Uh, we kept trending upwards, and then then we hit Frank and Muth, and uh, it was a tough game. Uh, close score, but uh, we ended up losing. And then we just really locked in, kept playing hard, focused up for the playoffs. And now we uh, we lost to Goodrich, and that's the end of the season. Yeah. So overall, how do you feel like you did as just an overall? I know you had uh... – okay, let me ask this. Uh, what were your goals coming into the season just uh, just to get overall better as a player? To get better as a player, um, I started taking a lifting class at the start of the year. So all throughout summer and uh, leading up to the season and through the season, I had been lifting, trying to get stronger. Um, really started looking at the team dynamic, seeing what we needed best. So I ended up switching from tight end over to tackle. Uh, You know, that helped out the team and uh, just try to do the best I could. Yeah. You know, just, um, you know, just as, as you, as you've kind of just gotten better, do you feel like you accomplished uh, everything that you wanted to do just as a, just as an individual player getting better at, at your position and stuff? Uh. No, I wouldn't say I accomplished everything. I mean, personally, I'd like to be an all-state caliber player wherever I end up, what position. Um, I think I'm getting there, but I don't think I'm quite ready for that yet. Yeah. Um, the thing is also just um... – you know, just being a lineman and stuff like that. What what was that? What was that just what was that like for you just to just to kind of experience with that? I mean, it's it's a big switch in how you think about the game. I mean, as a tight end, you're always thinking uh about how you can set up your release to match your release when you block and if the play is on the other side, then you just have to go straight over to third level and try to get an upfield block, hoping that the guys behind you break a couple tackles or something. But as a tackle, I mean, you're constantly talking with the guys next to you. There's a lot more thinking involved. Uh, you have to be able to see the entire field in front of you. You have to know who you're going to get. You have to know who everybody next to you is going to get. And now it's up to you to make sure that those guys behind you can uh, get upfield and get yards. Yeah. Also, throughout the last few years, I know you've had a you've had a little bit of a growth spurt there. Um, what's uh, what's that been like as uh, as you just continue to, you know, perform? And I know you also you you've gotten a lot taller in the last few years. What's that been like as you kind of uh, as you kind of continue growing uh, just as a player and, you know, just getting bigger and stronger? Um, I mean, the added height definitely helps. Uh adds a little bit to my reach. I mean, that's an advantage that I have that a lot of people don't. I'm able to get hands on them before they can get hands on me, which just it can completely change the dynamic of how you block someone. I mean, if I get my hands on them and they can't get their hands on me, then they have no power. I mean, and with the height comes a little bit more frame to fill out. So it just gives me more room to put on muscle and strength. Yeah. You know, really over the last few years, how have you just, you know, handled the, you know, being the season being over and all that stuff and just, you know, how important is it to like, cause I know you obviously are getting ready for the next sport, which of course, 
uh, is basketball, which tryouts start tomorrow, by the way, at time of recording. Uh, mm -hmm. By the way, we are recording this on a Sunday. So what is, uh, what's that been like just to, you know, okay, football is over. Now it's time to transition into basketball. I mean, obviously it sucks when the season ends. I mean, you work for months on end, put your blood, sweat, and tears into a game. And it sucks when it's over. But, I mean, you can't just dwell on the result. You got to flip a switch. You got to go, all right, I didn't get the result I wanted. How much harder am I going to work this next season to ensure I get what I want? Yeah. Um. Okay, so now we get ready for basketball. Of course, tryouts begin this week. Um, you know, how exciting is uh, this basketball season going to be for you? And there's, uh, it's just like football, there's also a lot of expectations uh, uh, for basketball as well for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I'm excited to have these expectations. When you have high expectations, it means you're doing something right. I mean, I mean, with the guys I've got beside me, I'd rather have these high expectations that uh i know we're gonna be able to meet and uh can't wait to have the season with them yeah um what what is the off season going to be like for you because obviously i know you're getting a lot of attention for football and getting a lot of attention for basketball as well so what's that what's that been like i know you've uh, you've, uh, you've been doing some traveling uh i've seen so how can you just describe what the recruiting process has been like um, just from your perspective and how you're kind of dealing with all that. Uh, the recruiting process, it's, it, it's been a lot. I really like uh, how a lot of these schools handle it. They, they try to streamline everything for you. They make it so that it's uh, really easy whenever they have you, when they want you to come down give you an itinerary they'll tell you everything like a week in advance and then when you get down there everything's just smooth and it just goes by real easy um a lot of the schools that are interested they reach out and they're consistent and they just show that they care yeah so what's that been like to handle as uh i don't, I don't know how are you 16 17 17 um, Okay. As a 17 year old, how, what, what has it been like just to handle all these different things and a lot of people wanting you? How do you handle that? I mean, I handle it the same way that I've been taught since I'm a kid. I mean, I used to travel a lot when I was younger for basketball. Like I'd go down to uh, Florida and Texas and all over the place. And I mean, my dad, he's been really helping me through it. Um, he's been teaching me since a very young age that, uh, you have to handle it with maturity and respect, uh, just be respectful towards the coaches, uh, no matter who, like it could be a junior college coach. It could be, uh, Michigan state it could be Michigan, but you just have to treat everybody with respect because you have no idea where they're going to end up in the current, uh, collegiate atmosphere just because everybody's moving around so much nowadays. Yeah. Um, you know, as, uh, you know, as you get ready for, you know, get ready for the season, do you prepare for a football game as like, um, when you mentally get ready for a game, like when you get mentally ready for a football game or a basketball game, is it different or is it the same? Because obviously they are two totally different sports. Um, obviously, <clears throat> obviously it's a little different. In football, I'm going out there to try and just throw people around, open up holes and everything. And in basketball, I'm trying to use my skill sets and mesh with my teammates to try and get an open bucket. But it's still the same basic process to where I spend the whole day focused. And... After school, I usually do the same thing. I'll go to Subway, get my food, uh, go home, get my stuff for the game, come up to the school, uh, whether it's a bus ride or a game before, uh, just do what the team's doing before, and then we go and we 
lock in and we play the game. Yeah. Um, and uh, last thing, most memorable moment from this football season. Mm. Most memorable moment from this football season. Uh, it would probably have to be against Cadillac when we ran a uh, like a 38 sweep. And I was able to dodge out of the way of a linebacker that was blitzing and just able to get downfield. And me and the other polling tackle were able to get out and get a couple good blocks for our running back to score a pretty long touchdown. Okay. All right. Um, let's go, let's do something fun. We're going to, okay. I'm going to give you two things and you're going to just tell me um, this is kind of more getting to know you a little bit, um, but let's, uh, you're going to get to um, just kind of tell me which is better, kind of like the this or that thing, if you know what mm -hmm. I mean. Okay. So, um, okay. Um, Udoba or Chipotle? Um, I'm going to have to go Kidoba. Uh, would you rather go to the, um, would you rather go to the beach or an amusement park? Um, amusement park. Okay. Um, are you more of a, are you more of a Netflix and chill guy or are you, uh, or are you just, um, or are you just a YouTube guy? Uh, probably a YouTube guy. Okay. Um, steak or ribs? Uh, that's a tough one. I'd go ribs. Okay. Um, what's the best place? Uh, what's the best uh, place you've ever traveled to? Just this is just in general. Probably Texas. I mean, every everything's bigger in Texas. I mean, it was great down there. Um. Um. Let's see. And then um and then finally, um going to the movies or playing a round of golf? Probably going to the movies. My golf skills aren't too great. Isn't that everybody though, Tristan? Yeah, but it's a little more for me. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Um, all right. Well, Tristan Comer, thank you so much for the time as always, and uh we'll talk to you soon. Absolutely. Thank you.